Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will cover how to manage product attributes on your Navcomer site. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.70. In Navcomers, the product attributes are descriptive aspects of a product such as color. For example, if you were to create an attribute for color with the values blue, green, yellow, and so on, you may want to apply this attribute to shirts which you sell in various colors. You can adjust the price or wait for any attribute values. Let's go to the administration section to learn more about managing product attributes. Product attributes are defined or can be added in administration area. Go to catalog, attributes, product attributes. Here is the current list of product attributes. To add a new product attribute, simply click on add new button. Enter the name of the attribute and description. Save and continue. Predefined values. A store owner can predefine all the product attribute values once and simply link the attribute with the product. This is a big time saver feature when it comes to adding hundreds or even thousands of products to the store site. Let's add one value, USB 2.0, let's make it pre-selected, display one, and save. Second value, USB 3.0, price, let's make it $10, display order two, and save. Save and continue. Now to link product attribute with the product, go to catalog. Products, Manage Products. Now select any product to which you want to add a product attribute. In this example, we are going to select a laptop. Select the Product Attributes tab. The Attributes sub-tab will be displayed. Click the Add New Record button to map a product attributes to a product. Select the Attribute from the drop-down list. In the text prompt field, you do have an option to enter the text that will be shown in front of this product attribute on the public store. Select the Is Required checkbox to define this option as required for customers. Control Type Drop down list The attributes value will be displayed in a drop down menu. Radio button list The attribute values will be displayed in a radio buttons so customer can select only one value. Checkboxes. The attribute values will be displayed in checkboxes and customer can select more than one value. Text box. This gives option to the customer to enter a custom text. Multi-text line. Date picker. Allows a customer to pick a date for the product. File upload. Allows customer to upload a file. Color square can be used to display color square, for example, color of t-shirt. Read only checkboxes. Allow store owner to add a pre-selected checkbox that cannot be changed. In this example, we are going to select drop down list. For some control types, you can even specify a validation rule. For example, for the text box, you can define minimum length, maximum length, and default value. For file upload, you can define maximum file size and allowed file extension. So basically, Knobcommerce gives a lot of control to the store owner to manage these attributes. We are going to select Display Order 1 and Update. In the Value field, we can see there are two values that we already added as predefined values. In this example, we are going to add another one color let's make a checkbox update and let's add some value red let's add another value blue and go back Save and continue. 
Now let's go back to the product attribute tab. Conditional attributes allows the store owner to specify a condition for a product attribute when this attribute should be visible, depending on the other attribute value. Conditional attributes only appear if a previous attribute is selected, such as having an option for personalized clothing with the name and only providing the text input box if the personalized radio button is checked. You can configure conditional attributes here. Now we can save the changes that we have made to this product. And let's see how this product with product attributes looks like to the customers on the public store. Go to public store. Let's search for the product. And here we can see our product attributes. And when I select this, $10 is added to the unit price. And here, checkbox, we can select any one. The conditions in which you would like the customer to select only one value, a radio button will be more appropriate. And this is how we manage product attributes in Knob Commerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knob Commerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.